Hey guys, welcome back to Rural Mechanics. Today we are going to show you how to remove and replace a seat belt pretensioner and if you have an airbag code for that or if the vehicle was in an accident, sometimes they even go better without being in an accident. So stay with us to see how we are going to do that. It's going to be mostly the same for all vehicles. That's the same procedure, just some minor differences here and there, but that's the concept of how you need to do it. Usually you will have to remove the seat and most of the vehicles they have two bolts on the front. This one we are demonstrating on Ford Escape and it has two bolts with 15 mm socket that we need to remove. Okay, first one there and now one right here. Now you need to screw the seat all the way up uh, to the front and there is two plastic caps on this one. Some vehicles have those, some don't. So you can pry them open and two more nuts right here holding the seat. So remove those as well. Okay, it's pretty simple procedure. Okay, just like that. Just pull them out of the way so they won't stop the seat from coming out. And we don't need no tools now. You will need to screw the seat to the back again all the way and lift it up on the front end and usually you can find the wires for the seat. This one, it's right here. So you can, you can press down and pull. Okay, let me show you like that. And usually the yellow one right here and the white one there for the pretensioner. So now you can just pull the seat out. And as you can see guys, the pretensioner is under that cover right here and usually those covers uh, you can have a screw or two holding them on that forward escape you just one screw on the back so you need to remove the screw and you'll be able to pull it out there is a few clips usually that clip to the uh, seat rails and this is the screw right here and now you can just pull it out then it goes up and forward and that's the cover right here and now you can see the pretensioner is right here only one bolt that is holding it so we will need to remove the bolt now. There are different ones. It could be just the wrench, it could be the, uh, the torque tool. It, it could be anything guys, depending on what kind of vehicle you're working on. And once you do that, you need to disconnect the wires. Usually it's two, two plugs or just one. Okay, this is the one with the two wires and this is for the seat belt that register if, you, if it's buckled or not. So you need to pull this one as well out. Okay. Okay guys, and this is the pretensioner right here and that's how simple it is to remove it and replace it. So we got it in now, just installed a new one, the same way we took it apart and that's the whole procedure. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe for one new video every day.